Okay, I have a confession. Usually I don't clean my menorahs. So this year I'm gonna try three different ways to clean them and we'll find out which ones work and which is the easiest. These are the three menorahs I'm going to be working with. As you can see, this one has a lot of buildup over several years probably. This one here, just a bit of red. And this one here only has a bit, but it has all this nice detailing here. And you can see that the wax has gone inside the crevices there. The first technique I'm gonna try is freezing it. So this one here is gonna go into the freezer. The second technique is to heat it in the oven. I put some tin foil and a pile of paper towels on this cookie sheet. And then I'm placing the menorah so that it will drain off. And then into the oven at 200 degrees for 15 minutes. While that is cooking, I'm going to try our third method, which is with a hair dryer. You put it on the hottest setting, but then the low blow power and just keep it right up close. You can see it starts to melt the wax fairly quickly, actually. And then I wipe it off using an old rag. This is actually an old baby washcloth. And I'm using this because the wax is gonna stick to it, and then once I'm done with it, I'll just toss it. But you can see the wet, melted wax wipes right off. It is gonna need a little bit more attention because the hair dryer only works one small spot at a time. All right, it's been 15 minutes. Let's check this one that's been in the oven. If you recall, this was like the worst of mine, totally covered, wow. Look at that, all of the wax just fell right off, melted into the paper towels. It does look like there's some wax, melted wax still all over it. Um, so I'll, let me get my cloth and I'll do a little wiping. This extra wax wipes off really easily. The only trick is that the menorah is really hot and so I have to be careful not to burn myself. But wow, that is shining up so easily. It's amazing how little effort this one took. And inside the little cups themselves, most of the wax has come out, but the wicks are still in there, so I'll have to get in there with a toothpick or something just to get the wicks out. All right, let's check on my freezer menorah. Now, most of the directions say to leave it in the freezer overnight, and I have not done that here. But just after maybe like an hour, the wax is chipping right off. You do have to kind of pick at it, and it pops off. And here are the finished products. Not too bad. All right guys, so after trying all three, my hands down favorite is the oven. It was so easy. The hair dryer was just a smaller heat source so it'll take you longer. And the freezer worked well on like the large chunks of wax, but not on the waxy film. I think you really need some heat to get that off or maybe some scrubbing. When you're doing this at home, please take into account what your menorah is made out of. If it's made out of plastic or glass, you don't wanna do one of these methods that deals with the harsh temperatures because it could melt or crack. All right guys, now I want your feedback. If you try one of my techniques or if you have a tried and true technique that you use, I wanna hear about it in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe. I put out videos all year round about doing Jewish stuff with your family. And go ahead and check out what else I've got going on.